the beast chewed up the T-bone and spat him out. Next up, Steel Avenger and the Tartan Terror. From Holton St. Mary in Colchester, Essex, the Steel Avenger. Won the best engineered robot award in Series 4. It has a pneumatic axe, front blade, spikes and a rear flipper. I think the two centimetre ground clearance is too high though. From Fish Cross, Alloa Fife in Scotland, the Tartan Terror. A Highland warrior with shield and claymore based on a whiskey cast. The weapon is an axe. The exterior is wood with iron hoops on that cast. Roboteers, stand by. The Tartan Terror team, Duncan Stewart at the controls. And for the Steel Avenger, there's John and Jackie Willoughby with Tony Bates in there as well. And in the arena for us, Sir Killalot with the crushing claws. I think it is invincible. And so is Shunt for me, although some say it can't sell right. Put it to the test. Three, two, one, activate. Tartan Terror at the top of your picture, built from a whiskey cask. They've been having a few drops of the hard stuff in the pits because it was very slow and sluggish to get out from the arena side walls. They are spinning madly and lurching here from pillar to post, the Tartan Terror. What is going on? The bottom there is steel with wood cladding covered by the Tartan Kilt, but it won't fool anyone. It certainly won't fool Sir Killalot. And T3, if it lasts three minutes, to be honest, will do well. The uh, the ball and chain weaponry, I think, has already come loose, hasn't it? There on the bottom of the Tartan Terror. Who's it terrorising then? Certainly not the Steel Avenger. Even a Feather Duster can do that sort of damage. Bravely carrying the Scottish flag. But will the Steel Avenger send them hameward? To think again. The Tartan Terror is already, for me, a beaten force, and this is Culloden all over again. Oh, dear. The whiskey barrel, I think, has been punctured. And in comes the Steel Avenger once again. The sober-looking Jackie Willoughby with another slam of the axe. For me, that's one over the eight slams by the axe so far. Is the kilt coming off? Oh, please, let's see what's on underneath. The Tartan Terror. No sporran. There you can see the wooden boards. A weak link of the Tartan Terror. Well, if you don't first succeed, Tartan Terror team, please do not, like Robbie the Bruce, try, try, try again. Not with this machine, because it isn't going to go very far, I wouldn't think. And the ref bot agrees with me and starts counting them down. Uh, seven, five, six, seven, nine, ten. And you're going home, boys. It's enough to get us laughing up here after all. They're on fire. Shunt has a look. Look at the wheels. What are they made of? Cobble box. The kilt's on fire. All we needed there was a burning tamashanta. What happened to the Claymore and the Dirk? What happened to the rampaging Scots? What happened to Braveheart? Shunt on fire. They're still in there trying to control something. Shunt's not on fire. Well, a little bit. I think it's actually remnants of Tartan Terra Kilt. And they're flung and flicked over. A little Highland fling to end it all. We've tossed the cable in Robot Wars 5. We were expecting a sort of Loch Ness monster. But in the end, we've got a tattered Tartan Terror. Bash and a crash. And in goes our own Knight of the Realm for the kill. Back on the floor, Flip Bowler oh, trying to get away. <laughs> they nearly got away, but not quite. Six, 